Aaron Keener, the first wave protocols on the largest threat to the division has been defeated on Liberty Island. Or so it seemed. As Keener stated, You have no idea what's coming. <laughs> Keener was too smart to lose the battle for control of this post-pandemic United States in a gunfight with the division. Keener has a legacy, and that legacy includes Project Eclipse, the Rogue Network, supported by the AI computer Anna, and possibly more than we can ever imagine. Using the Rogue Network as a means to communicate, Keener created cells of rogue agents, each with their own task with one goal. Eliminate the division. Intel on these cells is classified, with the exception of one. Jupiter's Rogue Cell. Five rogue agents on a classified assignment sent to Washington DC. What are Jupiter and her cell planning in Washington DC? Why are their call signs named after zodiac signs? And how is Jupiter's assignment tied to Keener's legacy? Molly Jupiter Henderson Eight years ago, Jupiter was recruited as a division agent after proving herself in the private sector as a security consultant. Leaning on her four-year military background, Jupiter excelled in combat and physical training exercises. She was noted as a potential risk due to her past involvement in militant activism, a group that was later involved in the kidnapping and assault of a prominent business executive. However, nothing could ever be tied to her and she claimed to have left the group by the time of the incident. All psychological evaluations supported her claims. She was activated as part of the division's first wave. However, she disavowed the division in an incident in the dark zone in Midtown Manhattan. She eliminated two JTF officers and has been tied to the murders of at least 15 JTF officers total, marking her as rogue. It wasn't long before Jupiter met Keener. It's complete bullshit. They think we're disposable. Uh, I know what you mean. Sure you do. Before you were activated, I bet you were one of those assholes with an expensive car, a compound in the Hamptons, and a two-story apartment overlooking Central Park. Uh, I was never one of those guys. I had a studio in Soho, same place I had when I first moved to New York. But you were making like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. It wasn't about the money. It was about controlling the people with the money. I could make a billionaire invest in a small company, save a town, and close a competitor that was really a front for a cartel. God, everything was so fucked up. It was just criminals protecting criminals, and now... Now we can see what people are really worth. Yes, we can. Keener, most likely, through the Rogue Network, had contact with Jupiter, Neptune, and Venus. The Rogue agent's motivation falls in line with Keener's philosophy. The world as it used to be wasn't something to go back to. The JTF and Division fighting to restore that part of what was once our reality were an obstacle in the way of creating a new world. We need to go now. Is our extraction set? I got a boat waiting for you and your team in Jamaica Bay. Are you sure you can't take the lead on this mission? Your team is perfect. You work well together and I know I can trust you to handle things in Washington. Really wish you were coming with us. I can't leave New York now. There's too much at stake. Besides, my team doesn't really play well with others. That's fair. Still, we could use more bodies. Just in case things go sideways. Don't worry. I won't let you go without backup. Conlon's left you a present. You're gonna like it. Just don't forget to feed them. Before the Division and Black Tusk set siege to Keener's base on Liberty Island, Jupiter requested Keener to join her and her cell to Washington DC. However, Keener, as the guy who sees the big picture, had to stay in New York City and finish what he started, knowing that his legacy was to continue if he should fall. Conley left Jupiter and her cell a present, as Keener called it. That present was a large battalion of cleaners. Together, the rogues and cleaners departed from Jamaica Bay in a large boat, but first, how did Jupiter put together her cell? Mary Saturn Masters was recruited into the division when she worked as an attorney. Her status was changed to Rogue after she shot down an extraction helicopter in the western dark zone of Washington DC, resulting in the deaths of two JTF pilots and one division agent. Her psychological evaluations describe her as having trust issues and that she actively avoids depending on others. Jupiter, we got a care package from Keener. A red package. Yeah, I saw it. What do you want me to do with it? 
Get rid of it. I don't want anything to do with that. You sure? You saw what it could do at City Hall. This is the leverage Keener was talking about. This isn't some kind of silver bullet, Saturn. It's a fucking bioweapon. We're doing this to eradicate a virus, not spread something even more dangerous. Of course. You're right. I'll destroy it. Just be careful. I don't want to find out you dropped it and killed the whole team. Don't worry. I've got this under control. Yeah, that's what they all say. Until they don't. When do we leave? I need you to stay back on this one. You're kidding. Look, Saturn, you know I trust you. Yeah? You're the best agent I've got. Venus can be a little... unpredictable, and Neptune's barely keeping it together. Can you blame him? <sighs> no. But that right there is why I need you here. You care about people. I need you to make sure the operation is secure. Fine. What do you need? Maintain the safe house. Keep comms open in case we need anything. You take care of the Eclipse? Yeah. Found a way to neutralize the dispersal mechanism, put it in a hole, blew it up, and buried the evidence. I knew I could count on you. Next mission? You're with me in the field. We're all set. That was fast. Yeah, existing infrastructure made it easy. You find an abandoned bomb shelter or something? No, but that's a good idea. <laughs> you need anything? Nope, we're good to go. I'll send you the coordinates on Parnell's network. <sighs> good job. Any word from the others? Yeah, Venus is here. She helped me bring in the last of the supplies. Haven't heard from Neptune, though. Still need to work on him a bit. He's not ready yet. But I'm pretty sure I'll come around. Saturn, this is Jupiter. Do you read? I read you. Parnell's signal is clear and stable. Any problems in New York? Nope. We're good to go. Everything's quiet here at the safe house. How's DC? Made first contact with Mercury. Mm, seems okay. Always nice to have a local on board. You need anything? We should be good. We've docked and are ready to move on the first target. If anything changes, keep me posted. Will do. Thanks for staying behind and manning the fort. Don't mention it. We all have our roles to play, right? Promise, next mission, you'll take point. Saturn was one of the first recruited by Jupiter and the sole member of Jupiter's cell that stayed behind in the safe house in Lower Manhattan. Other than her killing the JTF pilots and division agent, Saturn seems like the most stable, reliable and even the nicest of rogues. This was a big reason for her staying behind at the safe house, it's unsure why she needed to stay behind in the first place, but it had something to do with keeping comms open and preventing anyone from finding out their safe house. Before their departure, Keener sent a crate of Project Eclipse to the safe house, but to my surprise, Jupiter's plan didn't involve the bioweapon. It became clear that Jupiter has her own agenda, similar to the cleaner she wants to eradicate the virus. Which begs the question, why would she join up with Keener? This is Division Agent Chadwick Brandon, reporting for Midtown Manhattan. Final Midtown sit rep. The JTF left us behind. We lost. I don't know how many agents because of it. People who relied on the JTF support but never got it. We were supposed to tackle this together, but when the shit hit the fan, it was clear we were on our own. Mike died because of them. We ran into each other when we first got activated. We worked well together. I wasn't there for him. No one was. And now I'll never see him again. We're not going to forget this. Chadwick Neptune Brandon III was a flight engineer at the time of recruitment and was activated as part of the division's first wave. Neptune spent a lot of time setting up critical infrastructure in the base of operations, including a set of backup generators that could ensure the JTF stable power and communications. After the failed evacuation of the Dark Zone in Midtown Manhattan, Neptune, alongside hundreds of other first wave agents, was left behind and in turn resulted in the death of a fellow agent, Mike. At some point after the failed evacuation of Manhattan, Neptune disappeared from his duties and the base of operations suffered a catastrophic disaster as two generators exploded, killing 8 JTF staff members and wounding 23 more. 
Investigations into the incident indicated that the generators had been tampered with and that it was deliberate sabotage behind it. After being marked as rogue, Neptune came in contact with Keener. I used to feel so weak. Admitting that makes you strong. You been to therapy? <laughs> Just those mandated psych evals. What a crock of shit, right? Uh, do you think you're a narcissist? If I say yes, I'm a narcissist. But I can be rehabilitated. Maybe. If I say no, I'm still a fucking narcissist. You can't win with those people. They twist everything you say. Well, they never really thought we would be activated. 100%. If they actually believed it, they would never have cleared someone like Fei Lao. Or you. Jesus, they have no idea how powerful you are. I'm not powerful. I'm just a guy who sees the big picture. It wasn't long before Neptune was approached by Jupiter. After the devastating losses of the Dark Zone evacuation, Neptune didn't have much perspective as he was chased down by the Division, until Jupiter contacted him. Jupiter, now part of the bigger picture, tried to convince Neptune to join and although it seemed unsuccessful at first, Neptune was persuaded and joined her cell. They're looking for you. Let them come. You think you can handle it? When a full squad storms in and surrounds you? I'm not going down without a fight. I'll take some of them with me. You die, they win. I don't give a shit anymore. This world can get fucked for all I care. I know you're hurting. I'll leave you with your grief. If you're still alive and want to do something, you know where to find me. We can fuck the world together. Henderson. Look who's back. You said you were planning something? I have no idea what you're talking about. Please, I can't take this anymore. I have to do something. I'm not gonna take you if you're not fully committed. I'm ready to do whatever. Then first things first. Clean yourself up, you look like dog shit. Then, I want you to take a look at this watch. What's that? A system update? Sort of. It's a new kind of network. We're mobilizing. All agents, this is Jupiter. Neptune is officially with us. We're fully operational and ready to move. We do not answer to the JTF or the Division. They've tried to justify their actions and wash the blood off their hands. Hoping people will buy their propaganda and forget their crimes. It is our responsibility to fix the problems they've created. And we have to decide how far we are willing to go to do what's necessary. Jupiter out. Lucy Venus Anders was activated as part of the Division's first wave and her status was changed to Rogue after she went off mission for more than six weeks. Investigations into her activities have revealed that she set up her own safe house and directly undermined the work of the JTF by laying claim on critical supply drops intended for the JTF base of operations. Venus was tied to a violent incident where three Division agents had tracked her down to recover the stolen supplies. Two of the Division agents died by her hand and the third was severely injured, but managed to record an eyewitness account of the incident. Venus, as did the other rogue agents, saw eye to eye with Keener. Didn't you used to work here? Hard to believe, right? You don't strike me as a suit and tie boiler room type. One of the best. Of course, because you never do anything small. I wasted so much time trying to make money. Only to have it come back and bite you in the ass. We worshipped money and then it tried to kill us. Yeah, be fair. Money's always driven meant to kill. Maybe we deserve this. We deserve better than this. We're the Phoenix. We rise from the ashes reborn. You getting philosophical on me? Not at all. You stare at that logo long enough. You can't help but feel like we're supposed to rise up stronger and better. Sometimes. You have to break down completely before you have the freedom to build something better. Exactly. After her off-mission reservation, Venus had already joined up with Jupiter. However, Venus wasn't the easiest to work with and working with the cleaners wasn't something she was excited about. Soon enough, it led to some unresolved issues. I didn't sign on for this. We need backup. I don't like the idea of working with the cleaners. We can use them. Our goals on this are aligned. You have to trust me. I trust you, but they're fanatics. They're not fanatics. 
They're dedicated to their mission. Huh. Conley sell you that line of bullshit? Or was it keener? We make our own decisions. I won't force you to work with them. But you have to make a choice. You either get on board, or you can replace Saturn at the safe house. Fine. I'd rather be in the field. I can't work with Buchanan or Baker or whatever the hell that guy's name is. You mean Barkley? I can't understand anything he says in that stupid fucking mask. What's the problem? He doesn't respect me. His team doesn't respect me. If they don't listen to me, they're gonna get us all killed. You're exaggerating. I'm not, Jupiter. Come on, you know me. Look, I can talk to him, but it's not gonna make him respect you. You want him to respect you? Take care of it yourself. Oh, I'll take care of it. I just needed permission. What the fuck did you do? What? Barkley's dead. You told me to take care of it, so I took care of it. <sighs> I meant talk to him, not shoot him in the head. I did talk to him. He yelled at me and reached for his axe. My response was measured and appropriate. Ah, uh, is that true? True enough. And now his team listens to me. So see, I took care of it. You didn't take care of it. You were supposed to gain their respect, not their fear, Venus. They listen to you now because they're afraid of you. But as soon as they aren't afraid, <laughs> you messed up. I thought you were better than this. It's clear Venus was once a division agent as she took on the mentality of shoot first, ask question second. It shows her style of work and Jupiter didn't like it. Although Jupiter was in charge of this rogue cell, compared to Keener she doesn't seem as much in control of her emotions and the people she's dealing with. Where Keener knew exactly how to manipulate people he worked with to get things done, Jupiter just gets frustrated. We need to finish getting those supplies ready for transport. This is a mistake. The shipment goes out tonight. We need this gear. We have enough supplies. We're just moving the surplus. If the hyenas or the true sons find out about this stockpile... If the true sons come for us, we will need these weapons to defend ourselves. You're a good agent, Ryan, but I need you to help me out and just... Finish the job. We don't have time to argue about this. The plane's already on its way. Ryan Mercury Chang was recruited into the division from the military after earning a silver star in Afghanistan. Mercury left the military and became a marketing manager for a tactical equipment company and Mercury was activated as part of the division's second wave where he worked in Washington DC with Alani Kelso. However, not long after, Mercury was marked rogue after reportedly torturing and executing prisoners. Mercury has been described as intelligent and calculating with a tendency for violent outbursts. Peer reviews regularly describe him as a bit difficult to work with. After disavowing the division, Mercury was brought in contact with Jupiter. Mutual friends thought we might be able to help each other out. This is a secure channel. Secure enough. What's your name? You want a call sign for this op? Seems smart. Plants, animals, Zodiac. Went to the planetarium last week. Always been partial to Mercury. Fine. Mercury. Name's Jupiter. Nice to meet you. Is it true you're working with the cleaners? I've got access, but Connolly... Uranus is their real leader. Mars brought us together. They're efficient. If I had a team like that here, we could have eradicated the outcasts in a couple of weeks. That's the goal. Mercury, this is Jupiter, come in. This is Mercury. We're set. Moving out tonight. Should be in your solar system in a couple of days. What? Code? We're coming to your neck of the woods. Should be there in a couple of days. No. Oh. Why didn't you just say that? We all set? Yeah. Black Tusk invaded the island, but local agents cleared them. Doesn't appear our cargo has been discovered. We should still be good to go. Great. You send me the coordinates? Mars' network up and running yet? Look, 
local test runs, but not system-wide. You should still be able to send direct messages. Great. You need anything special? If your intel's correct, we should have everything we need from the crash. Uranus is working on some new prototypes. Specs are saved on the network. Hopefully, we'll be able to test some of them once we get to Roosevelt. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Mercury? Good to meet you, Jupiter. How was the trip? Fine. Couple of rough patches. Had to put out a couple of fires. You know, the usual. Everything set at the docks? We should be good. Supplies are a little low, need to send a couple of strike teams out for food, water, and weapons, but we've got plenty of space, and the boys are looking for fuel. You get me a list of what you need, and I can help you make those strike teams. You're good. I'm efficient. The call signs by Jupiter's cell originated from the first conversation between Jupiter and Mercury. However, Jupiter's cell wasn't the only one using these call signs. For example, Conley's call sign was Uranus. Keener's call sign when he was a division agent was Vanguard, but using the zodiac signs, Jupiter mentioned how he now was called Mars. As Jupiter said, he was the one that brought them together. Mercury, as the only local from Washington DC, assisted Jupiter and her crew to get sorted after they made landfall. Alright, here's the deal. I know you're Conley's guys, I know you answered to her, but until this operation is over, you answer to me and my crew. I don't want to have any problems. We have a long journey and a hard road ahead of us. But if we do this, if we get this right, we will be that much closer to eradicating the disease once and for all. We have multiple reports of experiments trying to weaponize the virus being carried out with the blood of asymptomatic carriers. We need to eliminate this threat. We're going to locate the labs, samples, and these carriers to make sure the green poison is destroyed once and for all. Oh, thank God. Land. Stop celebrating. Keep your mask on. We got work to do. We've been on that fucking boat for a week. Give me a minute. We don't have time. This was a quarantine. We need to sanitize, get the base set up, and finish our mission. You're right. I hate DC. Let's get in, get out, and go home. Good luck with that. Even if we succeed, I'm pretty sure this was a one-way ticket. When we succeed, I'll find my way home. Over here! You find something? Most of the wing is fucked, but a couple of the integral tanks are intact. How do you know so much about planes? Used to be a mechanic at JFK. We've been working together for six months, and you never knew I was an airline mechanic? Never came up before. You think you know somebody. So what do we do? Find some hoses and barrels and let's siphon out the fuel. Might have to send some people on a supply run, but it's worth it. You ever seen jet fuel burn? Nah. Green flame. Thing of beauty. The conversations between Mercury, Saturn and Jupiter gave us most insight into their goal and motivation. Jupiter and her cell want to eradicate the green poison and any other virus once and for all. The former stronghold of the outcast, Theodore Roosevelt Island, was the seat of fire in Washington DC because of the experimentation of the outcasts. Their goal aligned with the cleaners, which is why it wasn't hard to convince Conley or her cleaners in helping with the operation. Hey Jupiter! Kinda busy. I know. We found something kind of strange. You're gonna have to be more specific. Yeah, there's like a room down here. The escape tunnel? Yeah, I saw it. No, not that. It's a room with... My guys and I were sterilizing, burned some altar-looking things, and we accidentally opened this room. You what? Yeah, it's like some kind of shrine or something. Big-ass bird statue, looks kind of like an owl. The name Morovian mean anything to you? I'll be right there. Other than the Morovian society, there was something else on the island that both the Division and Black Tusk had overlooked. The military cargo plane that crashed on Roosevelt Island carried electromagnetic pulse devices, or EMPs. The largest advantage the Division has opposing the other factions is their shade tech. The EMPs would disable that advantage, making it easier to take down the Division. Conley even developed a modifier to be added to the EMPs in order to prevent it from affecting the cleaners and her cell. For 
first test of prototype A-15. Conley advised the following safety precautions. Ballistics barrier, set 500 feet from point of origin or device. Ear and eye protection, remote rather than timer detonation. You want me to turn it on? Half a second! Neptune, Venus, Saturn and Mercury one by one showed their heads in Washington DC and New York City and one by one they were defeated. Each elimination led the Division to Jupiter's plan on Roosevelt Island. After discovering her plan the Division launched an assault on the island in an attempt to eliminate the cleaners and stop Jupiter and her plan to use the EMPs against the Division. Although the EMPs, flame turrets and the cleaners gave the division quite some resistance, the division managed to push through and confront Jupiter at the docks. Fighting for control of the boat with the EMP devices, Jupiter used her EMP technology to fight back against the division, but in the end it was futile. Jupiter was defeated and the EMP devices secured, in turn preventing one part of Keener's legacy. Or so it seems. The manhunt still leaves me with some questions. What exactly was Jupiter's goal? On the one hand, she wants to eradicate the virus, which contradicts her partnership with Keener, the one rogue agent that created Project Eclipse, an even deadlier variant of the green poison. However, this does justify Jupiter and the cleaners working together to eliminate the outcasts and their plans to use the green poison as a bioweapon. Then again, the outcasts are already defeated by the division, so something doesn't add up there. On the other hand, extracting the EMP devices to counter the Division Shade Tech aligns with Keener's goal of defeating the Division to prevent them going back to our former reality. If the EMP devices are part of Keener's bigger picture, it is yet to be confirmed. Another question I'm left with is, are there other rogue cells and if so, what are their plans? Knowing Keener, Jupiter's plans aren't ambitious enough and are simply part of something bigger, but what could that be? Is it linked to the Division, Black Tusk and the Benefactors? And will we find out if there's true corruption in the Division and Black Tusk's Benefactors? Same as always, the more we find out about the lore, the more questions it raises. Still, that's all the info we have at the moment. I just hope we find out more soon enough. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please show so by leaving a like or a dislike, depending on what you thought. If you're interested in more lore on The Division 2 or other games like Modern Warfare or The Last of Us Part 2, make sure to subscribe and even click the notification bell to stay up to date on my uploads. I'm currently a little busy, but eventually it'll pick up again. If you want to support me in what I do, you can become a channel member for one, five or $10 and unlock exclusive rewards such as digital lore items and exclusive posts. If you don't have the money or decide to spend it on other things, that's fine too. I will still be creating these videos because I love what I do. That's all for now. Thanks again for watching and peace out. <laughs>